Hi, this is Linda with LLB Vintage and Pretties. And today we're going to talk about salt and pepper shakers. They are a lot of fun. And a lot of people think just because they're salt and pepper shakers, you can't use them for anything else. But, to my way of thinking, they could be just cute decorations that you have in your kitchen. <coughs> Excuse me. Or they can be cute in a bathroom. So let's just take this set right here. Let's see if we can see it. This one. Now even those being salt and pepper shakers They would look really cute in a bedroom that was painted in yellows and greens and pinks. And they'd be really cute in a baby's room. So this one is a little teapot that you would obviously pour onto the flower pot. But what you might want to do is maybe have this basket of flowers sitting on a flat surface and then hang the little teapot. And it would be a really cute and different idea to do with salt and pepper shakers. So I think this salt and pepper shakers can be used for other than salt and pepper shakers. These are definitely salt and pepper shakers. It's kind of hard to change the fact, but you could use these for something different. You could use them on a shelf in your kitchen, maybe on a shelf by your kitchen window if you've got those type of little shelves that go in there. And a lot of these can be used for that. And these are just absolutely adorable. And these are vintage. And they do have their little uh, stoppers on the bottom. And this one says salt or has an S. I don't know if you can see it. And then this one has the P for the pepper. These are definitely vintage. But if you do have something that can go with them, that would be pretty too. These little cats are vintage, and they were made in Japan. I don't know if you can see that. Oops. So there it is, they're marked Japan. And these, along with some of the other vintage that I'm going to show you, would be really cute in a shadow box. So you could put these in a shadow box and uh, make a picture for your kitchen. These would also go cute in a baby's room. You could also use them as salt and pepper shakers. So maybe you could put those together along with these. And these are a Shawnee salt and pepper shaker. And they are vintage. The little boy has his cork, and the little girl's cork is up inside. These again would look cute in a baby's room. So you could put these things in the shadow box. Here's another set of vintage salt and pepper shakers and put them in the same shadow box. These are very old and these were made in Japan as well. So they're singing eh, 
clowns, I guess you'd say. But that would look pretty in a shadow box. So in just a little bit, I'd like to lay these out and show you what it could look like. These are a set of elephant vintage salt and pepper shakers. Again, they'd be cute in a baby's room or put them in the shadow box as well. And these were made in Japan and they still have their stickers and they have their stoppers. Very cute. So if we laid these out as a box, how would they look? So let's take a look and see. So if we laid these guys out, and these are in the shadow box, and we laid these out, and laid these out, and laid these out. If you can see them, I guess it's not a very good example, but you don't want to see all their bottoms. But this would be really cute in a shadow box in your kitchen. The other thing that you could do, if you wanted, is you could take just gardening stuff. And use these as a decoration. Now we would really want to do three because then it makes it a collection. So let's say we only have two and then we run across some birdhouses. And these also would make a really cute design in your kitchen because a collection is three. So you could do something like that on your shelves in a kitchen. I think that'd be really cute. And then we have different types of salt and pepper shakers. We've got chickens. Let me move some of these things so you can see. So we've got the chickens, which are really cute. And then you've got the turkeys, big turkeys. And those for the holiday would look really nice on a shelf in your kitchen. Now a lot of these still have salt and, salt and pepper in them because I buy them with stuff left in them. So guess what? You get free salt and pepper when you purchase my salt and pepper shakers. Okay, let's move these guys to the side. And I'm going to show you a trick on how to do some things too in a little bit. What if we wanted to do just a plain white? And again, this is something that you want to do as three. So here, let me flap this flapper up. So you could put the owls with the gold. You could put the fox. And you could put the bunnies. Now to do this, I would probably take the ribbons off the bunnies. I just thought it was cute. Or we can do these two with it. So we would take the little pork pines, I think they are with the little owls, since they both have gold on them. And then put the fox maybe on either side. 
but there's all kinds of little things you want to do or can do. Um, but if you're going to set up a collection, I would set up three of one kind. And that's generally what a collection is, is three of a kind. And if you didn't want to do all white, you could obviously do anything you want to do. It's your stuff. Make it the way you want to. Or you could just take the whites and maybe put something, you know, maybe a little shocking in the center. So let's take this back. That's a little too big. But you could add color to it if you wanted as well. But because they're all salt and pepper shakers, making a collection in a shadow box would be cute. Or just as a collection on your shelves. Okay, let's take a look at a few more. Now these little guys, I always call them guys. These little salt and pepper shakers are really cute. And you would not have to use them as a salt and pepper shaker. You could use them as cinnamon shakers. You could use it as salt and pepper, obviously. But any kind of spice that you would want to put in these, you could. And what's really fun about these is right here, you could put little tags. So you could run labels through your label maker and put on whatever you say that these are. Salt and pepper or cinnamon shaker, nutmeg shaker, spice shaker of any kind. So that would be fun too. And here we've got a set of really old salt and pepper shakers. The, these are a depression glass salt and pepper shaker. The tops of these are actually tarnished. This one is, this one is not. But I'm sure there's something out there that you could clean them with. And these are just stunning. And you might want to put them with another type of salt and pepper shaker, say these kind. Or you could take these and put them with it. And once again, these back here, you could put again the same labeling idea and use these as something else. So you could use them as, again, a cinnamon shaker or nutmeg shaker or both. Doesn't really matter. They're yours. You can do whatever you want. That's the nice thing about having your own mind to do stuff. Here we have some really cute little Easter bunnies. You could use those with maybe these and just do a cute little Easter setup. These are vintage. All of them except the big bunnies. And these were made in Japan in 1983. And they're in perfect condition. They are just cute, cute, cute. And then to have the little chickies with them are cute. You could do, oops, you could do a whole theme on a little shelf close to your kitchen. And it, it would just it would just be adorable. So maybe you want to start collecting Easter's. Easter salt and pepper shakers. Now these guys in the back might look cuter in this scenario with their ribbons taken off. You could do a whole scenario of just animals. And that would be cute on your shelf as well. 
So we've got to stop thinking that salt and pepper shakers are just salt and pepper shakers. We need to think of them as something else, like decorations. I'm pretty sure not a whole lot of people really use these as salt and pepper shakers, more for decoration, because they are a lot of fun. And another idea that you could do is I have some starfish that were made in, I believe that's Japan as well. I can't see real well, but we all know that. So let's say we did just a sea, sea type decorating with our salt and pepper shakers. So we've got these, and again, they don't have to be used as salt and pepper shakers, just as decoration. You could do this type of thing with them as well. And maybe throw in an odd one just for it to make it look just fun and cool. The other thing that you can do is take pewter, salt and pepper shakers, and put them together. And what would what would break up the the look of this if we wanted to just add something else that has color to it? And since those are vintage, could we add something like this to it? How would it look? I don't think it looks so good, but I'm just trying to give you ideas of what you can do. So these are pewters, and they're very pretty. This one actually has salt in it, and I think so this one, yep, has a little bit of pepper. Let's check this one. Nope, nothing in it. Nope, I must have emptied those out. So... <clears throat> There's a little quick thing on salt and pepper shakers. I do have a lot of salt and pepper shakers. I think so many of them are so cute that I have to keep getting them. There must be something wrong with my mind. I'm going to mispronounce what these are, but I think they are Kokochi, something like that. Uh, little salt and pepper shakers and their little heads maybe not yeah their their little heads unscrew so you can put your salt and pepper in them and they're not very tall they're just little tiny guys and it doesn't say on the bottom what they are but these are hand painted most of my vintage salt and pepper shakers are and then we've got some little pigs salt and pepper shaker pigs so you can do again an arrangement with them and then maybe throw in a Fitz and Floyd pigs if you like pigs and those are fun Another thing that you could do with salt and pepper shakers is take more modern salt and pepper shakers, like these, and maybe put them with these. I don't know if those go together too well, but yellows and browns match, but the blues are not that great with it. So may, that may not be a good idea. But might you be able to take this set of Fitz and Floyd, and because it's all flowers, maybe you could do a set like that. Again, with, with salt and pepper shakers, you can do anything you want with them, because they're so much fun. And then maybe with those little pigs that we had earlier. 
we could take them and put them with the irons. And there's still tags on that. So if we did the little irons with the little pig salt and pepper shakers, those would be cute together. Or maybe you could throw in some different white ones. Maybe you might want to do the little fox. You know, they're not going to necessarily, you're not going to necessarily line them up like that. But it's, it's just to give you an idea of what you can do with your salt and pepper shakers. And I'm thinking, too, if you put all your pigs together, like I said, I have a few pigs that I could put together. And most of them are singletons, and they are Fitz and Floyd's. But I just thought this was a really cute idea. And uh, get out of your mind that salt and pepper shakers are only used for salt and pepper. So anyway, here I have a little, I don't have very many Christmas salt and pepper shakers out. Or Christmas decorations. Because um, it's not quite time. But with this, since we have a boo-boo on it, and you can do this at home as well, is take some water paints and you can mix the water paints together with a couple colors to get this color that you need. So let's see what we can do with this. I'm gonna open my colors here. And so what I'm using is a dark brown with a tan because I know that this whole thing is a dark brown so let's see what I can do with this so what I want to do first is take a piece of paper and get my colors out so we're going to take a little bit of brown the dark brown so you can already see that that's going to be too dark. And take a little bit of the tan. And that's getting closer to the color of what that actually is. So let's dab just a little bit on here. That is not too bad. Let's put a little more tan on it. And you kind of want to dot it all the way around. I think that's still a little bit too dark. this to dry for a minute and what you can do sorry I had to go get some paper to wipe that off a little bit and so you're going to want to take a little bit off or dab it in However you want to do it. And nobody would know that your piece had a collision with something else. Now the other thing that you want to do is you don't want to just leave that paint on like that because it won't be shiny. So the way that I resolve that issue is I take fingernail polish clear 
and I put it on my piece after I've painted it. I see there's a couple more places that I could touch up. But this is also the back of this salt and pepper shaker. So nobody's going to see it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't, don't think you got to be perfect. Per if perfect is not all it's cracked up to be. But these are just really cute. And now you turn it around. Unless you know exactly where that bump was, nobody's ever going to be able to see it. And matching colors is a little bit hard. You've got to take your time and figure it out. And I'm not the best at colors, but it's just an idea of what you can do with your items. I know with this little one, this little salt and pepper shaker, I had to do several touch-ups on it. And to tell you the truth, right now I couldn't tell you where it is. Because I don't know. And I don't think them having a little bit of flaw is bad. I think that it also shows you, shows the age of the item. And I'm fine with that. I am absolutely fine. And I know that there's a couple pieces, other pieces in here, that I've done touch upon, and you just cannot see it. I mean, you might be able to run your finger across it because your finger is going to be able to tell you more than what your eyes can. Now, I don't think on this one I did any touch up, just on this little one. So don't be afraid to do touch up on your stuff. Nobody's ever going to see it. Only you will because you know where it is. With this one, I had to do a touch up and I don't know if you can see it. I certainly can't see it in the camera. So I'm going to list these items. Most of these are listed. And you can go ahead and get them on my eBay site. And that's at LLB Vintage Dash Pretties. But look at the salt and pepper shakers that you have and see if you can't make some type of shadow box or take three of a kind and put them all together. And there's, there's just all kinds of things you can do. And it's wonderful. And again, I think this would be so cute in a baby's room. And look at the little kitty face. Oh, I just love those kitties. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you found that entertaining. <laughs> I don't know if it's entertaining. But it was certainly something different. And here you can see all kinds of different salt and pepper shakers I'm bringing in. And these are all vintage as well. And you can tell on these the pepper from the salt. And it does have the uh, reticulated holes in the top that show what they are as well. So those are kind of fun. And I believe that these are mm, a teak but not 100%. Uh, what else do we have hanging out? We've got some little barrels. Again, if you wanted to do... Like, oh, you know what would be really cute with that? What if we took... The barrels. And we put them...